This is what he wears on a regular okay. basis. It's not just like he dressed up to be goofy for you. Oh, he what? did. Welcome back to the party. We're here with Steve Green Comedy. What's the party? This is the party. See? <sighs> When's it over? <laughs> it's just getting started. Oh, wow. So we're just gonna jump right into it and tell you that uh, we're giving this guy here, my husband of one year and three months. Thank you. A husband a makeover. A classic one year and three months, yeah? Yeah, a classic one year and three months. We're giving him a makeover today! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I am. About getting a makeover? Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your style, your so far style. Yeah, my style is. Um, and what needs to change? My style is that I have no style. I call it don't give a fuckitude. It's mostly like I wear a lot of the shirts that I am given. Can you describe like your everyday wear? I would call it like a uh, Venice Beach longboard salesman. Okay. And that's usually what? Like t shirts? <laughs> t shirts and like shorts of some sort. Sometimes sweatpants. Yo, mostly sweatpants. A lot yeah. of times not matching. And that kind of attitude where it's like, hey man, it's a beautiful day, man. Like that kind of uh -huh. like, that kind of look. Yeah, yeah. I go for that. What would you wear to like a party? I usually wear like a button up shirt of some sort or a polo shirt and then I wear this like same two pairs of jeans like always. Would you say the polo shirts and the button ups are new shirts or they're older shirts? Maybe very old. I would say they're very old, they're very outdated. Mm -hmm. um, they don't even quite fit me right, right. most of them now. Yes. Or, when you yeah. go to a party, do you feel good about what you're wearing? No, it's never. I'm always. really upset that I have to wear pants usually. But this is why I wanted to do this because I think there's a way to have you wear stuff that's comfortable but also that like looks good. That like you feel that. good about. I would love that. Because when we first started dating, I thought you had a pretty good sense of style. I thought. I did. Because you would wear like more hipstery type of outfits. I, yeah. But then you didn't like being called a hipster. And then I, and then and I so you stopped wearing those. Yep. But now, but then now you just look like a slob. That's so true. So I think that finding some middle ground there. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't have to be a hipster, but you can have like a sense of style. That's no, I like. liked the way I used to dress, but then when I got, I don't know, man. I, hipsters should be eradicated from the earth. I think. <laughs> so when I when I found out that I looked like one of them, I was like, oh, okay. Well, there's many different types of hipsters. No, they should let's need to not, be ethnically cleansed. Let's not genocide a whole bunch of hipsters. Oh. Let's go take a look at what you wear right now before we get you some style advice. I'm okay. Sorry, I'm sorry in advance, to everybody. Okay. Come on. Okay. So this is like your average outfit that you would wear on a daily basis. I wear this at home. I wear this out. I wear this to like a Fry's Electronics. I wear this to like a Best Buy. Have you heard of the organization? I have. It looks like you work there. These are swim trucks. It's 103 degrees. What do you want me and to do? And he wears them all the time. Yeah. Like there's no pool anywhere around here. What matches with a swimsuit? Everything does. That's what does. Well, there's a hole in your crotch. Which yeah. I was able to see you from can barely across tell. the room. No, you can I barely saw it even across tell. the room. It's right. It's very clearly there. Hey, okay, that's part of their gun touch. Okay. Also, how is this comfortable? These are so tight on you. Yeah, they're they're too tight now. These are creating like a muffin top yeah, situation. Yeah, they're, they're not fun. They used to be more fun. They used to be more fun. I like this shirt. Probably a sexy, a sexy girlfriend gave that to you at one point. What? I bought this. No, you didn't. I don't have a sexy girlfriend. Shut up. <laughs> I got this for you for your yes, the you first did. birthday we spent together five years ago. Yep. So this shirt is five years old because your birthday is this month. I love this shirt. See how I wear mostly gift shirts? Like, yeah. I wear the oh, same I see. shirt. Yeah. Okay. You want a makeover? No, he has such a good sense of style. So this is your typical going out outfit. This is basically the going out. The going uniform. out outfit. This is the, what I call the uniform. Uh huh. I'm on brand right now. I'm going out. So you got a button. So I gotta see everybody, all our friends. When you look at when you dress like this, then when you look in the mirror, do you do you go like, oh, I look good? Because I dress so poorly at home. Yeah. To me. I'm like wearing a fucking tuxedo right now. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I'm like, damn. I don't think that this fits me right. Like, I don't, right. I don't love yeah, that's it. The, I think that's the problem. The pants are dope though. I fucking love these pants. I think this is the, that's the problem with most of your clothes, is that yeah. they just don't fit quite right. Yeah. And they don't complement your style or your body type. Yeah, since I got fatter, yeah. <laughs> Not since you got fatter. Yeah, no, that's what, that's what it is though. It's since I got fatter, like it, my clothes fit me kind of weirdly. Okay. Is there anything uh, that you that you put on now. right now that you think, ooh, I look good in? Um, no. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this guy yeah. over to an actual professional stylist. Her name is Lindsay Albanese. She's a good friend. Uh, we love her. She's that's what she does for a living. She's a stylist for celebrities and stuff. Gives you some professional ass advice on what you should be wearing because I don't know. So we're gonna get some advice from her. 
Help me, Lindsay Albanese. Okay, let's go. I'm a real mess. Let's go to her. Hey! Hello! We're here! Step into oh my, my office! God. This is great. Thank you so much for having us. Of course! Us. Hey, what's up? What's um, up? He needs help, <laughs> as you can see clearly. What does your shirt say? Name brand shirt. Oh, it's a free shirt that he got. It's, it's our a, friend's it was merch. Free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which we love you, JK. We love you. It's just not style. -ish. Nikki doesn't think it's good enough. I have to redo my whole wardrobe for no, the No, I love it. Merch. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Those look kind of like a little bit like toddler swim trunks. They are <laughs> adult swim trunks. <laughs> but I'm yeah. I'm get lit up. Yeah. There. That's fine. <laughs> They are actual swim trucks. You know what? I wouldn't wear those pants. I wouldn't be caught dead in those pants. How about that? Fair enough. This is what he wears on a regular okay. basis. It's not just like he dressed up to be goofy for you. Oh, he what? did? No, this is what he dressed. This like. wasn't just for the the, the video. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Yeah, it was, okay. this is how he. So it's always like some this, sort of free shirt. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, <laughs> it's very help. hot day. Lindsay, we need help. It's a very hot day today. <laughs> And that's why I wore this submission. It's hot and I wore this. It could it's be, hot and she wore that. It could be worse. This could be a free tank top. Then that's like even worse. Oh, good. Good, <laughs> honey. Well, let's uh, have okay, a let's, seat okay. and let's chat about yes, this Let's issue. talk about it, please. Yes. 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 You're gotta be in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Even though, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be in the middle. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, Lindsay. So, this. Need a little help. Like, where do I start? Need help. <laughs> Yeah, Good so got it, dude. <laughs> got her. I am a celebrity wardrobe stylist, so yes. I think you came to the right place. Thank you. Which, by the way, before you... we get started, her videos are amazing. You definitely need to check them out. We also did a collab on her oh, channel. Oh, yes. So I'll, I will leave the link in the description. Please go check it out. She's amazing. If you ever need help with any styling um, needs, like check her videos out. Thank you. Have you styled Ryan Felipe? Bay? No, I haven't. And you that... call yourself a celebrity stylist. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You chose that Ryan out of all the relevant Ryans? I tend to do that, as you know. You got Ryan Gosling out there you could have yeah. grabbed. You no. got Ryan There's Reynolds. only one. There's only one Ryan. So have you ever, do you shop for him? I don't, because I don't know, I don't know how to So this is for men. you, too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so Ultimately, you let him yes. wear the free shirt. I let him do <laughs> whatever she he She let wants. this happen, okay? No, it's true, because when we first got together, and I feel like I should address this, I don't control, I don't like to control anything he does. So right. I'm not going to be the one to say, change your shirt or you should really start dressing better or whatever. Um, he came to me, actually. That's true. We went to an event, like we went to a lot of events, but there was one that really broke the camel's back where we went to an event and everyone was dressed very nice and he was in a polo shirt and <laughs> jeans. And I wasn't gonna say anything when we left, but I'm dressed, oh gosh. you know, here's, in a here's, nice dress. Here's what's great about me. Real nice wife. I am so like, self-aware. Yeah. Perhaps I'm too self-aware, but I'm uh -huh. very self-aware. Uh -huh. So I know what I'm doing when yeah. I do it. And, that, and that's why I came to her, I was like, yo, you gotta tell me if like something's gonna be dressy or whatever so that I can do a better job. And I did tell him it was gonna be dressy, but I didn't say like, like that's formal, not dressy formal. enough or whatever. Wow. So I let him come to me and it's been a, a kind of ongoing thing for the past year where he's like, I want to dress better. How do I do it? And I'm like, I honestly don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, I'm giving suggestions based on what I'm seeing right now. Yeah. And I don't want to say, oh, okay, now all of a sudden you're going to be wearing khakis and like a shirt with an alligator on it, you know, but not right. with an alligator on it. But you're thinking, what do you want I'm to not wear? saying I don't need your help. What the hell am I doing here? Yeah. I'm saying I don't know what my style is. And okay. so I'm down for. He's down for whatever your, full makeover. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're um, full. Okay, so, so like, maybe we'll. Uh, nice t-shirts. No logos. I think you should buy three solid color t-shirts. Okay. Okay. Maybe a little V-neck, just a little V, yeah, okay. not a deep V. I can do a little V. Yeah. yeah. My husband, if if it goes, if it shows too much a chest hair, he's like, I'm not doing That's it. Why but he's a good little guy. V. That's why I like and that you guy. too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and me too. She does not like cleavage. Show cleavage. You don't no do cleavage. V? Not personally. She likes the girls nice and tucked in. <laughs> Got it. I also think um, go buy maybe two pairs of of trouser style shorts. Um, H&M is a great store for both of these things because okay. you can buy them very affordably. You know, a couple pairs of shorts is gonna cost you 50 bucks total. And think about the colors that you like to wear. Do you do okay. like, it's like dark pants, light shirt, light shirt, dark pants? I don't have any fashion rules like that. Oh, no, I think because you're, you know, you narrow that space for self-expression. I think some of the best outfits come from putting things together that don't necessarily seem like they should go together. So, um, you know, like I love a dark blue and I love, you know, a royal blue, like an even deeper blue, like a monochromatic too. Um, so I would say, you know, how about try this? Try a light blue shirt and navy shorts. Okay. And like a brown shoe. That's another brown good shoe. Brown sneaker, maybe high top sneaker. Okay. okay. 
or maybe just, you know, a lace-up sneaker with a white sole. Okay. I love light blue navy and brown, really sharp, looks really polished. Yeah. But you're still just wearing a jean or a t-shirt and shorts. It's and how best about, buy employee outfit. How about if we were yeah. gonna go to uh, a nice uh, a, a nice event, not even a nice event, but just like um like a, a dinner, you know? A dinner, okay. Like um where people are dressing up but it's like nice casual. Maybe yes. white shirt, white pant, in and out employee outfit. No. <laughs> I see, I see the theme. So I would say um, you need, it's all about classic button up in jeans, but it's important the cut of the jeans. You need to buy jeans that are slim fit, okay. not skinny fit. That's where my yeah. husband is, because that's when they look like they're painted on jeans. Yeah. Yeah, that's Bad. the key. So you want slim fit jeans for all of you guys out there or you women buying for your partner and whatnot. That's how to get your husband to wear a slim fit without it being skinny. So okay. slim fit is important. I'm kind of talking about what I like to call the wardrobe. It's like the foundation of mm -hmm. your closet, the things that you wear the most. Staples. Yes, so okay. that's what I'm telling you. And it's really hard like to dream up outfit ideas without seeing the inspiration. Sure. Like it's kind of like an artist too. Like I need to be inspired to start creating. So I'm kind of just riffing here, but I think I'm gonna give you some solid advice for you to like you yeah. know, give you a little guidance. So I, I Say, try the jeans and then go for maybe um, a, a pastel color. Try like a okay. feminine, maybe pink. Yeah. And what about like a blazer or something <laughs> like that? He's pissed. J. Crew is always nice. Oh, that's oh, what you mentioned. Do you? So I asked that. him what what would be your ideal style, like if uh -huh. you could pick something, and he said it, anything from J. Crew. Yeah. Like his, oh, I that, like the that Massachusetts model. racist the look. <laughs> <laughs> like I sit on a boat, I drink wine, I hope, like, I hope I no minorities like are around. I eat steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. really nice. Another tip, and I know this seems very obvious, but I think a lot of people forget this, is to use the inspiration given to you. When you walk into these stores, look at the mannequins and literally Ooh, copy these idea. outfits. And I know that seems very obvious, but we tend to forget that. We're like, yeah. I don't know what to get. Well, just look around. They're merchandising the store to sell you, and sometimes you can just copy I do that. all of that. Another thing that you may want to do, uh, who's your like celebrity guy crush. Ooh, do you have one? Am I allowed to say that? Please don't. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Chris so, Pratt. So maybe, I, I always say this to people too when they don't know what to shop for. I'm like, look at what celebrities are wearing and screenshot that look and then go repeat that. You can put Ooh, that you together. Can pull so, that look. so if there's a Ryan Gosling look, you know, oh, go to the so stores and looks. put it together. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know who my celebrity crush is? Yeah. Helen Mirren. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> she's my, I get a pass. Are you like serious? That's his hall if pass. I, if I Helen ever, yeah. Yeah. an 80-year-old woman? Is she that's, 80? That's, she's that's his hall pass. Hell, she's 70. She's like 72. <laughs> I let him pick whoever he wants. Is that Yeah. I, I love Helen yeah. Oh my gosh. Super into it. That is your marching, style marching orders. Okay. okay. Yeah. They're gonna you. get out nothing with a graphic on it. Nothing. Ooh. Thank God. Nothing. Can you also give a no no man jewelry rule? No. no. What no. about accessories? No man jewelry, uh, no, right? No, just a nice watch if anything. Okay. But that's it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, no, no belts. I needed that No, one, no dude. pinky ring. That's for all the yeah, dudes no, out there who think their dudes wearing freaking jewelry, but <laughs> Do, they, do you guys like think belts? Shit. Is that a thing? Uh, I love belts. I love belts. Skinny belts? Yeah, belts are cool. Yes. Alright, well thank you, Lindsay. We have to go oh on our merry way to shop yeah. for this fool, yeah. the miracle man. I will be waiting. Over here. Hey, just I wait. will be waiting. Wait till her makeover day. It's gonna be but sick. <laughs> I can't wait. Come back to me for that. <laughs> she actually doesn't need it because this is a totally styling thing. Yeah, every thank time I you. use it, she's put together. No, she thank needs you. to look like a friggin' Hollywood hooker. That's it's because I just copy the mannequins. We gotta we'll go see. get your clothes. Come on. <laughs> Right. My, make, okay. make you into my Ryan Gosling. Thank oh you so gosh. much, Lindsay. Yes. I'm gonna go find my Helen Mirren. Check out her channel. Make sure you yes. go over there. Oh my God, it was so fun. Uh, affordable fashion and style Celebrity tips. fashion. Did you make you look like Kim K? <laughs> it's for real. For cheap. Yeah. Follow Lindsay her on channel. everything. She's great. I love her. <laughs> we are at the mall. It's a different day. I got some style inspiration pictures here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's what we're going for today. And if you don't like that, actually, I got a picture of Chris Pratt. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll just look like that. To, honestly, he has the same body type as you, and when I was Googling images of him, he actually has some clothes that you have. So, oh, perfect. I think that's Raise like easier. Day. That's easier. Okay, she said no graphic tees. Okay, what about a Chewbacca tees? No, teases? nope. Nope. No graphic tees. Ooh. Oh, oh my that actually looks good. Maybe if you go like one size up. One size up. Yeah. I like that you? a lot. Yeah. yeah. I feel good. It feels yeah. Comfortable. I like that. Mm, no, not quite. Okay, so 
but she said to look at the mannequins for inspiration on how to pick out clothes. So we're gonna do that in H&M. Ryan Gosling style we got. There's a picture of him with the jacket like this. That looks good. I like that. These are skinny fit. No skinny fit. We need straight fit. Okay, last step of your transformation. Yo. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. So we are taking Steve to my hairstylist. Her name is Dawn. She's at Salon Maxime. Shout out to Dawn. Well, what? She's been doing my hair the entire time that I've lived in Los Angeles. So everything I've ever done in my professional life, she has cut my hair for. I think she's amazing. I think I'm really curious to what she'll say about your hair. Yeah, she, um, it'll be, we'll see if she, uh, I've had a lot of hair, I've gone through a lot of hairdresser people, but they always end up killing themselves after doing my hair. Kill <laughs> I don't know what Not to really. Like. They are alive and well. Don't worry. But yeah, they no, give. They, they give really up. They really do give up on life after they do my hair. Yeah. Yeah. So I never see there. him again. Well, please don't let. Please don't make Dawn disappear. She. I need her for my hair. So. That's what I'm worried about. My hair is my biggest ugh. Yeah. Like I don't like my hair. People think I like my hair. I don't like my hair. Who thinks you like your hair? Well, people are like, why does he do something about his hair? And I'm like, dude, there's nothing I can do. Like, yeah. What are, you, what are you talking about? What What have you gone through with your hair that you? What have you well, tried? Uh, you know, I've done all the shampoo shit where it's like, you know, your, your hair is thinning like to use the shampoo. Uh -huh. I think that basically has just slowed the degradation of my hairline, but it's not fixed. Not preventing anything no, and, no, not, no. and not fixing anything. I don't anything. think so, no. I don't know, man. I'll be very real. I just don't. My hair, I, it's not just my hair, but I just don't. I just haven't liked the way that I look in a long time, and I'm ready to fix that, so. Okay. I don't know, a couple years ago, I just I just got so depressed about my YouTube channel being demonetized and like, just all the shit that I've, you know, all the stupid shit. Yeah. That I just didn't give a fuck. I was like, fuck everything. So it was kind of like a little depression. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's change that. Yeah, well, I, I think it starts with how you look, uh, like sometimes how you feel informs how you look and sometimes how you look informs how you feel. Yeah. But you have to make a change, when you make a change somewhere, it, it, it'll it affect everywhere. Yeah, I think so. I'm ready for the shit, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a toughie, man. It's tough, it's tough to talk about this shit. I don't really like to talk about this shit. I know, shit. I get it, but it's real. I think a lot of people, can relate to that, you know? I feel like a lot of people are, will, will, either are dealing with it, have dealt with it, or are about to deal with it in age. Yeah. You know? This is my hairstylist, Dawn. Yeah. She's the best in the whole world. Here on the sides, it gets really, like, a, it grows a lot faster than here. So yeah. it gets, like, mushroom topped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do about that. And that's the problem you're having, right? Yeah. Okay, now, do you, what's your habit with your hair? Do you like to do this a certain way? Uh, I'm not for whatever I'm doing, I don't like anything about it. Well, you see this cut? Blunt, right? Yeah. Like that. It's, you have to go up here and create some layers to break that. How you feeling? Good, real good. Okay, we got this man some clothes. We got this man some hair. Now it's time to see the final man. Ooh. Uh, you know, they say when you get married, your yeah. wife will try to change you. True. 
And I am so close to my to-go Ryan Gosling. I am so close. How dare you? <laughs> no, but for real, I feel like this look looks so good on you. Like, well, do you thank feel you. do you feel better? Yeah, but very much so. Most the hair was a big one. Yeah, and then the clothes just feel good. It feels good. Yeah, the clothes is like you were just lost. You just didn't know. Yeah, what yeah, to pick out? Exactly. Yeah, and honestly, I didn't know either. I wasn't one of those wives that was trying to change him because in Santa Barbara, <laughs> in Santa Barbara, all the guys wore t-shirts and shorts, like swim trunks and like flip flops. Right. And so when it came to men's fashion, I really didn't know where to start. That's why we went to yeah, Lindsay, <clears throat> who Lindsay was such a good help. By the way, we did a video together. Check out her channel. I'll leave a link yeah. in the description. Thank she's, you, Lindsay. She's great. Her telling us what to get, and then also pulling those celebrity pictures. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're a combo of Ryan Gosling and Chris Pratt right now. I'm sure the- uh, But you're better. I'm sure the audience you're better. disagrees. I disagree but, but, as well. But better, right guys? Yeah, Leave right. a comment. Tell us if he's better than both of those men. Thanks guys, appreciate it. So I can it. keep I my agree marriage with you. together. I agree with you. <laughs> no, but so you look so cute. And well, I feel like- uh, you're the best. I feel like when you look good on the outside or you feel like you look good, it, it boosts everything else on the inside. and. I just, I personally feel more creative. I feel just like better in, in general about life. Yeah, when you when I feel, feel like, like I, you look good. Yeah, and I never knew that it could affect me that much. You know, I always kind of felt like self care was a waste of money. Yeah, I didn't. I just didn't see the point. It didn't seem like it would. It's not an investment, or I didn't feel like it was an investment. But it really, really is. Like it's an investment because it makes you feel good, which make which puts out more. Feel like more quality to whatever you're doing. Right, I agree. It's so weird how that works. Queer Eye taught me a lot. <laughs> That's basically what you're quoting right now. Yeah, this is a new Steve Green, everybody. There it is. You're the rebrand. The rebrand is here. Now you just gotta learn how to cook, and you'll be. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to cook. You just wait. Yeah. And do you wanna see. do a Tasty Tuesday? Yeah, of course I do. Always. All right, stay tuned. Tasty Tuesday Takeover coming tasty soon. Tasty Tuesday dog. Takeover. It's coming, dude. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave us a comment. Tell us how you like Steve's look. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. I'll probably on the Tasty Tuesday Takeover. Tasty Tuesday Takeover. I'm excited slash scared. Can I plug anything I want at the end? Yeah, sure. Go I ahead. Get anything I want? Anything. Go ahead.